this hunt is going to be just a little bit different. For the first time on Rancho del Arroyo, we're doing a weapon restriction hunt and only carrying the 12 gauge over and under shotgun. And you can see in our inventory, it's the only gun we have equipped and it does allow us to take every species on this map. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun to have something a little bit different. And I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of challenges just using the 12 gauge over and under presents. I think this will be a good starting point for the 12 gauge, a 202 to 243 whitetail. One thing we need to remember to do is switch the ammo around because I'm going to continue to switch back to birdshot just in case we flush up a pheasant or spook a level 3 jackrabbit, but tiering for 100, we'll probably want to be a little bit low. And just like that, we have a pretty good sized buck down. If I'm remembering correctly, the last time we used the 12 gauge was actually on a diamond fallow deer over on Te Awaroa, but it did quite well there at 76 meters, dropped that white tail buck in his tracks, and you may be wondering why the 12 gauge over the new 16 gauge, and the simple reason is 12 hats. We posted a poll on the community tab quite some time ago, and a lot of you guys had input as to what you wanted to see on hats, and a popular request was some kind of 12 design and we finally have camo hats with the 12 design on them and I'm super happy with them, I really like them. Uh, that one there on the screen, you're gonna see me wearing that in the IRL hunting videos this fall. And yeah, they're available now if you click the link in the description down there with the rest of the merch. So if you wanna check that out, that is going to be there. And I'd also like to say, because we're theming this video with 12s to this degree, we're also gonna go ahead and make a goal of exactly 12 kills. and. I'm really going to push hard to make one a diamond or a rare, so we have one already. Uh, our total kill count now is 34,145, so we're going to 34,156 is going to be the number we need to get to for 12 kills, and we'll kind of see if we can manage across those 12. This should be interesting. When we tested in early access, we used the 10 gauge, the 16 gauge, and the 20 gauge, and I just want to hit that once to kind of see how it does. We didn't get to test the 12 gauge at all, and initially I didn't see any health dropping, we definitely did hit that rooster. And from what I've seen, the 16 gauge just with like a single pellet hit will bring them down. It's low bleed rate, so it's pretty much guaranteed he is going to go and bleed out. And he actually did in fact just drop there with the hunting pressure, so nice to know that the 12 gauge takes him down good and quick. And I will say, despite the iron sights not being that great on it, it's kind of like big and clunky. That was very easy to aim, even though it was kind of a decent distance. Not the nicest place to land, but a 17.4 gray. We actually hit it with one pellet right in the skull. Killfig, I don't know if we were a little too far ahead or how we just got the one there. But that's a decent sized bird. And our second kill to this point now. Ooh. That was a good sized rooster. It said. Something up to 20, but it was 2 to 3 kg. I know that we saw... Actually, maybe we should save our uh, shots, but... I know that we saw a level 2 diamond pheasant on the pre-release stream from EW. I actually can't say I've seen one posted anywhere. Unfortunately, this just is a 18.7. Anytime the estimate goes up to 20, they have a chance. Because diamond is 20.3. Another pretty solid rooster, though. And kill number 3 now. This has already been a significantly longer chase than anticipated, but it's a 2-3 kg pheasant again, same estimate, but this time it is the molting plumage type, so I really want to get it just in case. Again, I really don't even know if there's a chance. Apparently it stopped in there in that brush. This is going to be kind of rough if we couldn't get that shot through the tree, but fortunately we did. This guy is 19.2. I believe it was yesterday's video. We just hacked a 19.1. I never went back to look either. I know we have a big molting one taxed. I mean, it's not like we don't have the in-game cash to tax it just in case. I'm not sure what our biggest molting one is, but it's around that area. I would just hate to lose out on one that big if that actually was our best. So, worth the chase to get him. I mean, technically, that has a chance of being a diamond level 2. This continues to happen where we're getting opportunities at below max level like potential diamonds and we're still kind of good this would only be kill number five so i definitely don't mind taking those shots that is just a 4.4 common 36 hits by the way at 24 meters but we have to take the chances 
just in case they are decent. I'm just hoping eventually either we do find a max level or one of those pays off and is a below max level diamond. There's been this glitch ever since this update where animals kind of like almost twitch in their zones. And it's not unique to Rancho del Arroyo, it's happened on other maps as well. So it's kind of concerning me trying to take this shot, but there's an 85 to 100 buck in there and a very tiny gap to get the shot through. We definitely dropped him. I'm not so sure that wasn't Spinal Cord though. I have noticed, and it's kind of natural with a, I guess, heavier round this slower moving, the range you're at and the zeroing is a little more important, and I think we may have been a little under 150 there, so there's a chance that did hit high, but at least that is going to be our halfway point, and I didn't ever mean for this to be like a birdshot only hunt, so I wanted to get back after Whitetail a little bit with the opportunity. It's just kind of, I guess, the natural thing. I'm trying to spend time in antelope jackrabbit territory in case we could find a level 3 and that sort of leads to just a lot of pheasants and stuff like that but we were fortunate enough although we were high to get lung liver and stomach a nice little 210 scoring whitetail buck we've had a number of 4kg antelope jackrabbit track today but this is the first one we actually got to see and unfortunately it is a level 2 with a low estimate so kind of an odd maneuver here but using the scope and taking a 75 meter shot I don't even know if we got that, we must have, or I guess technically we could have hit one of the other ones, but I figured we might as well take it just, if for no other reason, to kind of get warmed up on shooting rabbits, because on the off chance we actually managed to find one that's a little bit bigger, I want to be able to take such a shot, because normally we carry the 22 and a long range shot like that's no big deal, but it could happen that we need to take a longer shot with the scope, and I mean, 80 meters one pellet actually I think dropped it so that's good to know they might be a little less resilient than some of the other rabbit species I wouldn't have guessed but that might have been a good thing to actually practice earlier just because we've had such a difficult time actually tracking these antelope jackrabbit that I don't want to get too close and risk spooking this guy so we're gonna try to get into about 50 and then we'll probably take that shot I mean he is just a high estimate too but there is a very slight chance there, and at this point, I certainly don't want to pass that chance up, so we'll try that at 50. Should have gotten him. I never saw him actually, like, jump up and do the little death animation, but I do see him laying there. We've had one level 2 go above 6 so far on all of the ones that we've shot, and I think it was 6.1. We still need a 6.3 to make diamond, and go figure, there is the 6.1 that I just mentioned, so... It, I guess, is tied for our biggest antelope jackrabbit thus far. Definitely not quite what we're after, but gonna get something decent. And by the way, that is 8 kills now. I'm kind of thinking, it's been 3 hours and 41 minutes. It's just been like a really slow process of mostly shooting max estimate animals with a chance of reaching diamond, pretty much to maximize our chances of actually getting one. But I think what we'll do is probably go and try to get to 11 kills and then kind of just get back on that same thing, only instead of below max level animals, only take a shot at something that would be a max level. Well, that is not how this was supposed to go, but two roosters flying over us. I know we got the first one, obviously. Did we hit the second one? We definitely did. So that'll be two more kills to get us to 10. 14.6 molting, and the common that we shot there was pretty decent. It was about to land and actually just dropped, so... We'll go and find one more thing. I still want to, you know, not just shoot like a hen pheasant or something. Still want to hunt for something decent. But then, like I said, after that, we'll really hunt hard for like a max level animal or I guess something that would be a guaranteed diamond, essentially. Or I should say a guaranteed diamond or a rare, which is kind of why I've been so drawn to pheasants throughout this hunt. I continue to hope to find a rare rooster. I just think it would be really, really cool to get one of those for one of the multi-mounts. In the meantime though, we'll keep on looking for anything we can get a shot at. He may not be huge, but that's definitely a nice mule deer buck, and I think a good one to get our 11th kill on. So we'll go ahead and zero for 150. We do have slugs loaded, and I was wanting to get a mule deer anyway today, so hopefully we can make that shot. I'm guessing that's going to be into a lung. They're a little tougher than Whitetail, but he is starting to drop, so I can't imagine that hit anything else. 
We'll go and claim him, and I'm actually curious. It is... I'm going to do this just to actually show it. 10.30 right now. Let's see how long this takes to actually get a diamond. And by the way, a diamond or a rare, uh, it, it's been, for the most part, whether it's diamond turkeys or just like maybe less interesting rares, it hasn't usually taken four hours in between any of those things, and we're reaching the four hour mark of recording now, so hopefully something good is going to show up, but just for the sake of maybe showing the passage of time a little more than with like the clock ticking transition that I usually do, I want to actually pay attention to the uh, real time, but we'll claim this guy, and we'll kind of get off on that quest to find something. So that's a 260.2 mule deer. I will say, despite the fact that none of the kills we've had so far are diamonds or rares, we've had a pretty good kind of collection of solid trophies, but hopefully we can cap that off with something good here sooner rather than later. I almost didn't see it, and I didn't want to take the risk. There's two huge rooster pheasants in here somewhere. I don't know if I can spot them. There's one there, 17 to 20, and there's another one that's like, I think 19 to 22. But certainly, after everything that we've been through, we're gonna go and try to get this, I think, albino hen. And I showed the time uh, when we shot the last animal. There's not much point um, in showing the time here because I had to basically take a break overnight. Uh, everything else flushed. I'm not sure why she's being so hesitant. Now I think she's gonna. Now what we need to do is make sure that we hit her. And that's gonna be our first, at least, um, non-melanistic rare pheasant. We did kill a melanistic hen before, but they're probably the least interesting rare pheasant you could imagine. This is an albino. It actually looks really, really cool, but the thing about the melanistic hens is that they look so similar to the greys. I just, I don't know, it almost doesn't even feel like a rare to me because you can't really see the difference like in the trophy lodge, but yeah, um, here I'll put the time in again. It's now 11.24 AM. Um, I s probably put like six hours into multiplayer last night. Just a bunch of like crashes when we get max weight tracks and all kinds of insane things. But yeah, I think on that note, Kill number 12 being an albino hen pheasant, we're gonna go back to the second lodge and take a look at that. You know, I don't think we've put a pheasant on the wall till now. They actually look really cool. I've just done the multi mounts and I threw the melanistic hen over there just because I mentioned it. And I guess I could throw the molting one up here as well, uh, just because we shot that today. Yeah, I don't know. We have another rooster somewhere here. I think a gray. That's really neat. I don't know if there's anywhere in the main lodge that we could do a display like that, but I quite like the way that turned out. But anyway, I've been mentioning since pretty much release day, I really want a rare rooster pheasant. And we now have two rare hens, so hopefully one's not too far away, but I'm actually quite pleased with that. The albino hen looks a lot cooler than the melanistic. And I think it's a pretty fitting way to end a 12 themed video. So once again, if you guys want to check out the merge and the new hats, that link is going to be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.